If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this season 3 episode 8, we are going to see about while controller in JMeter. While controller runs its children until the condition you specify is false. The condition could be a function or a variable or a property which has the value false. Once the condition is evaluated to the value false, then it will terminate the execution. Otherwise, it will continue the execution until the condition is false. There are three possible values inside the condition. It could be a blank value or it could be a keyword a last or it could be a function or variable which evaluates and returns the value false. So blank value, whenever you enter no condition inside the while controller, then it will execute till the last sampler inside the while controller is fail. Suppose you have 10 elements and the 10th element is failing, then only it will terminate the while condition. And also you could have the value last. So last will work similar to blank, but it will check the before the while controller. If something is failing, then it will not enter into the while controller and you can write the uh, Java expression language. It can write JavaScript or Groovy, but whenever you use a function or variable, make sure it evaluates and returns the values false. Otherwise, the while controller will keep on going until the condition is false. Now let us see a quick demo. The possible values with uh, blank, last and some simple function. And then uh, we will see how while controller works in JMeter. So this is my simple thread group where I have added the while controller. Inside the while controller, I have pass one, pass two, pass three, and file two. To add the while controller to your JMeter test plan, just right click on the thread group, go to add, go to logic controller, and select while controller. While controller has very one simple field, just a condition where you have to specify, and then it will evaluate until the condition is false, it will keep on executing. So right now let us execute with blank value. And I'm going to keep the uh, fail sampler to the last. So now let us execute. As you see, it is executing pass one, two, three, and it is failing the uh, sampler with the value of the two, the fail two sampler. Now I'm going to move this fail two to the second element. So now what will happen is it will execute pass one and then it will execute fail two and then it will execute pass two, pass three, pass one and then it will keep on continuing because the last element is pass. So it will keep on executing the while controller in an infinity loop. So this is how it works when you enter blank. So it will just wait for the last value to fail. Only if the last sampler is failing, then only it will terminate. Otherwise, it keeps on executing your test plan, which will leads to infinity uh, loop. So now let me stop the test and I'm going to enable the uh, fail one here just before the while controller. So this will basically it will fail the uh, sampler. So now let me enable this and I'm going to change the condition to uh, last and I'm going to run this uh, script. So now if you see it was executing fail one and it is not even entering into the while controller because this last will check for the previous sampler result. If it is failing, then it not even executes anything inside the while controller. But now let me make this as pass and let me uh, put the response code as 200 and I'm going to change the uh, name to pass and let me clear this and run. So now it will go inside the loop and then it will keep on executing until the last sampler is fail. So this is how the last and blank works inside the while controller. So now let me disable this and let us quickly see how to write certain condition inside the while controller and we will see how uh, it executes. So in this case, I'm leveraging the petstore.octoperf.com. So here what we are doing is we are launching the pet store and the product, the fish product, and we are adding the item, just one item to the cart. And we are keep on adding the cart until the value 
of the uh, total is less than $99. So all the calculation is happening inside this uh, JSR223 post processor and we are evaluating the total, the cart value using this uh, JavaScript. And also you can see this uh, JSR post processor here which uh, get the value and then it will convert to the float and then we are just manipulating something and this counter will increment the uh, cart number. So it will first add a one item, it check for the price. Then it will add the second item, it will check for the price. So till it executes less than $99. So it will reach up to $99. So now let me execute this. So first is launching and first item is added to the cart, which is less than $99. And the second item is added to the cart. And you can see the subtotal here, $33. And third item, you can see the value $49. And if you see the sixth item, you can see the value is $99. So now once the value reaches $99, it evaluates the condition. So this is set to false. Once the condition is false, then it will stop adding the item to the uh, cart. So this is how the function basically works inside the while controller. So make sure it evaluates and returns the value false. Otherwise it will keep on uh, executing. That's it guys of my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, please feel free to go to my next lecture. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.